Hello everyone, my name is Ravindra. I welcome you to the series Learn with me Microsoft Power BI. So in our previous video, we have created the sum of revenue, this simple type of interface. Okay. Now today we are learning about the how to split the columns. Okay. We'll add some more data sources and also create some of the relationships in the model view in our upcoming video. So without wasting too much time. So let's we get start okay so first let's we add our new data source okay so this files is available in the description box of our video from there you can be easily download that okay so i simply in our all resources uh, data file if you have this you can simply go to all data and resources day to data from there you have to just simply import these two files okay we can be import one by one so first we import the store cities and simply just click on the open so now if you see the store cities data is our loaded in our power bi report so simply we can we click on the transform data load data okay so load data means it will load to the our backend and we can be transformed later as well so for now we simply just click on the load okay and add one more data here okay we can be do this from the power query editor as well so i simply go to the power query editor okay so our store cities data is added here you can be see now simply if you want to add some more sources okay in the power query also you can be add simply just click on the new source okay just we have the text and csv file so the, simply we just click on text and csv file here okay from here we will just add a production product history here okay so simply just click on the enter it will add our new data as well product history here Simply we just click on the OK. So you can be see our data is added here. Product history. Okay. Hierarchy or history. No problem. So let's we perform some of the uh, let's we do our today's learning. Okay. So in the today's learning, we are just learning about the split columns. Okay. How to extract these two functions we are learning in our today's function okay format also so all the we are performed this operation on the text okay so first thing what we have to do okay whenever we are in the for new column simply we promote this to the header okay so here in the home driven okay just go and click on the use first row as a header simply we done that now so it will just you can be see we have promoted the headers okay after that this is our store id then we have the store size okay so this is in meter square okay so we want this uh, in the number format okay so we can be perform some of the operations on it okay so let's uh, how to do that let's think okay i just already previously shown to you okay in the transform we have the split column as well as format and as well extract option in the text okay we can perform this operation on the text okay so let's we open the extract option here in the extract we can be do on the basis of length okay you can be see power bi just giving us the suggestion if we hover on that okay at the corner it is just showing like first character specify the number of characters from the start of each value in this column what is last character same range okay on the basis of range it will do <clears throat> we can provide the column index from starting okay text before delimiter text after delimiter okay so we are using this because we are needed this like if you see the description here text that occurs before a delimiter okay 
so in our case okay so x is occurring before our delimiter so we want this 19 okay we will give here pace is our delimiter so in this case we can be use this okay is before delimiter so simply i just click on that So first we have to select the column here. Okay. We are not selected column. So we simply select the column and then go to the extract. Okay. And use the text before delimiter option. Okay. So here we will give some space. Okay. And just simply click on the okay here. Okay. So now if you can be see, we are just converted this into the number format. Okay. We can just simply convert it whole number as well, but I have one shortcut trick this time. We will use this and just perform this operation. Okay. So now we have this state state abbreviation and city column. Okay. So we want this text abbreviation in the separate column. Okay. States are in the separate column and also the hot spring national park. This name means city is on the separate column. So how to do, do this? Okay. So in the same like in the transform I already told you in the split column we have the same option by delimiter number of character position lower case upper case on the which basis we have to do this so in the our case we have delimiter so simply we just click on the delimiter and then our new pop-up will <clears throat> display here okay so here split by delimiter has three options left most delimiter means on the basis of like if you see my cursor here is our left delimiter so only this first occurrence will done okay if you done the right most delimiter so this right hand side first delimiter column we will get okay we will split on the basis of this okay for each occurrence means it will do for each occurrence means on the basis of both we are done here okay so in our case we want the both okay so let's simply select it so here we have some of the options here okay comma single sign semicolon tab custom so in our case uh, we not have to um, have some of the custom thing so we just simply click on the custom we give paste dash after that paste so it will remove the white paces as as well and just simply just click on the okay here okay so same mistake we are done here now okay i think we are not selected the column so simply just just go and in the right corner just do the remove this okay and now select the column here okay go to the transform we will repeat this step so you will learn more okay by spread by column we will use custom here give paste and after that one paste and just simply click on the okay here can be seen this is our state abbreviation this is state city and this is this is state and this is city okay so let's we change the name simply if we have to double click on this so it will we can be change the name so simply we will just rename state abbreviation so a b r state so simply we go yeah and rename this to the state okay after that i click tab okay or you can be click on anywhere okay? for the cities as well we will do the same thing okay I just remove this city keep it city and remove the other pages just click on the tab <coughs> now we are done with the state abbreviation as well as state as well as city after that we have latitude and longitude okay so we will also split this column on the basis of this uh, backward slash okay so simply we just go select the column this time we will go to the transform use the split by column option here by delimiter okay we'll give here custom option space forward slash space so it will remove the white pieces as well here you can be choose anyone left or right it doesn't matter because in our case we have only one option so we simply just click on the okay 
we are simply split so we just give the name to it latitude is longitude click on tab okay so now what we will do we simply just select this column okay we have selected this column we'll go to this side okay paste the keyboard shift button and just click on the store id so all the columns will select automatically okay and then we have to go to the home tab after the the transform and here is one type here detect data type so simply just click on this so it will just detect the data type okay automatically and it will convert all the things so we have to just cross check it so store id it is text format okay it is text format store size number correct city id text correct the state abbreviation text text city is also in text latitude is also in number and longitude in number okay great so also if you see in the state we have some of the white pages is available here okay if I open this Alaska, okay, here you can be see the white space is available at the starting. So we what we will do, we'll go to the transform, okay, in the data operations. If we have this format, okay, so simply we will use trim, so it will remove the extra white spaces, okay, and for we will do the for city also, okay, go to the transform and use the same option trim. Also, here is one option present clean. Okay, so in interviews, you should uh, get some of the questions. Okay, like what is the difference between split and trim? Okay, sorry, trim and clean function. So let's see, see what is the difference between trim and clean function. So for that, we are connected to the product hierarchy. Okay, so we will just jump to that. Okay, so in the clean, uh, this extra white space is like good. There is one tab. And up to day okay so this space will be removed by using the clean function by using split we only remove sorry by using trim function we only remove the starting and ending trail white paces okay means this trailing white space we will remove by using the split function so simply we just select the column we'll go to the transform okay and then here is format option present and just we click on the clean so you can be see our data is clean now okay so in here we also perform some of the operations like capitalize each word and so on so also same for the product also we will go to the home tab and just use it as the first row as a header after that we have the length depth width we will split this column on the basis of this small x okay so here is white spaces also so we have to keep it in mind while so we will go to transform use the split column option by delimiter simply just click on the ok here we will give the option custom by simply just selecting the drop down is we go to the custom the custom will add here white base x and white base and just simply just click on the ok here so we have the length first column just we simply rename this Perform the same operation, renaming the eight column. Okay. Similarly, length also. Click on the tab. So the perform now. So simply we will do the same thing we just select our last column then we will go to the first press keyboard shift button and then select the product id and then go to the transform and then we will use the detect data type so here 
it is converted or all the numbers automatically also in the category and subcategory we will split this on the basis of category as well as subcategory so we will go to transform use the split column by delimiter custom here is one came already we'll go do one more straight line right face right face simply click on the okay and in both the columns what we will do change the name of the column simply okay so in the product hierarchy just go the category is subcategory done so <clears throat> friends today we are learn about how to split the columns okay what is the different between clean and trim functions okay this type of questions we will be uh, asked in the interviews also so be prepared for that okay in the theoretically as well as in the practically as well okay so also one of the if you have some of the questions okay you can be asked in the comment box okay and uh, i always try to respond every comment okay so for that uh, if you have some any question you just ask in the comment or also you can be asked on any platforms okay keep learning keep growing and keep exploring the new things okay in the, our upcoming videos we will um, using the most important part okay merged queries and append queries these two parts we are seeing now okay by using this we can be add a new columns add data and other things okay so we can be do this so let's uh, see in our upcoming videos thank you friends have a nice day to you